now. Okay. One, two, three, four, four five. five. Turn. <laughs> yeah! <Yay! laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Woo! I'm so excited. I freaking knew it. <laughs> So I just left the doctor's office. I was so nervous going in. It was my first ultrasound and you hear the horror stories and I've been doing my best to just, you know, every pregnancy is different. Um, but it would, it was the first time that I would be able to see my little one. And um, I'm sorry, I'm like super emotional, but um, it was the best thing ever. <laughs> And um, everything's fine. I heard the little heartbeat and it melted my heart and I just feel so blessed. This is something that I've wanted for so long and God has answered my prayers and I just pray that the rest of this pregnancy continues to be healthy and um, these are good tears, I promise you. Tears of joy. Um, I'm just so grateful. This baby is all that I care about and um, I'm so happy that everything is fine and that Whitney was able to be there. <laughs> he had the guy response. He goes, that is so cool. <laughs> Hi! Welcome to my house. I'm so excited you guys get to meet baby Brentlin. Say hi, Bubba. <laughs> so today we're actually going to be hanging around here. I'm doing all sorts of mom things. I got the baby boy. He's not feeling too well today. Right, baby? He loves the camera, by the way, so he's going to be very attentive. Um, I'm cooking some food, so you guys will see how interesting it is and how different it is now. I'm trying to juggle a thousand things. I thought I was a multitasker before, and I was great, but this is like a whole different level. This is stuff. Like, literally, trying to clean up. He has really bad reflux, so he's puking on me constantly. I am chasing after the dogs. I'm trying to feed him, trying to cook, trying to clean. Life is a little bit hectic. I'm still trying to get that balance and try to, you know, get everything. Now I totally understand when women are like, stop trying to be super mom. Cause like literally like, it's not even like things that we have to do, but we feel we have to do. We, have, we feel we have to take care of everything. So it's a lot. You okay? So life's definitely different since I've had Breton. So strong. <laughs> You're doing so good. Is that so fun? Is that so fun? Oh, I'm so glad that he's actually staying. <laughs> I'm making Thai baked sweet potatoes from The Minimalist Baker, which is one of my favorite cookbooks. You know why? because it is 10 ingredients or less and everything in here takes 30 minutes or less to cook. It's my kind of thing, especially now, so. Training has changed a lot. Um, again, it's something that I wanna improve on. I found myself rushing through workouts to get back to him. You know, before him, I would train and I would be at the gym and I'd get lost, literally, training and doing whatever and taking my time. I'd be there for hours. And it's just not like that anymore. Like I literally, I go in, I get it done, and I have to go. I know that come time for me to prep, I am going to have to take, slow it down a little bit and take more time and put more focus into the training that I'm doing. Um, but it's, it's, it's just different, it's different. My priorities are different and my, what I think about is just different. You know, something that I struggled a lot with was putting him in a school and daycare 
and it's something that I kind of beat myself up over for a while and I was like I'm such a terrible mom but you know me and Whitney have no family here at all and a lot of people think that because you work from home that it's super easy and that you're able to do it all and it's just not true. What I do now is that time that I had before to just do whatever I wanted, that's, he owns all of that time. And I wouldn't think of anything better else to give that time to because he is like the best thing in the world to me. Okay, so there are so many amazing things about parenting but I get, think what I love the most is, well, just looking at him honestly and like, I still can't believe like he's mine. Like I made him? And just that smile, like, like no matter what is going on in your day, if you feel like you're gonna have a breakdown because it happens or if you, whatever, having a hard day and he smiles and like that's it. Like it all goes away. Like he reminds me of what's important and he brings me back to reality and to the present moment and this is the most amazing thing and he's the biggest blessing, my biggest accomplishment ever. Like obsessed. <laughs> Come on buddy. So I am going to let the dogs in because it's really hot outside. Come on, Gunner, come on. Gunner, get inside. Come on, let's go, let's go. Go in the garage, come on. Come on, buddy, this way. Come on, Muffin. Come on, come on. Come here. Go. Oh my gosh, everybody's behaving today. <laughs> you have to sit for a second so I can make your butt. Hold on, or at least wash my hands. Hold on. One second. Hold on, Brian, one second. It's like, I want my food now. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. If I could give advice to new moms or someone trying to get their body back or whatever you want to call it after a baby or, you know, being out of the gym for a long time is be patient with yourself, show yourself love, um, appreciate your, the small progress. Progress is progress no matter how slow. And make sure to appreciate the accomplishments that you make. If you drop a pound, celebrate. Like, Okay, you're not, you didn't drop 10 pounds, the 10 pounds that you wanted to drop, but you, you dropped one, so that's progress. A lot of times people forget to um, celebrate those, those small accomplishments and they're not really small, they're big and it's taking you to where you, you know, want to be eventually. So don't forget that.